I'll show you how to create this romantic graveyard gothic look. Almost everything that I use can be purchased at Spirit Halloween, so it's all in one place. And it's also perfect for beginners, so if you can't get your winged liner even, if your lipstick is always messed up, this is the perfect tutorial for you because even the most basic newbies to makeup can recreate this. So I'm going to start by mixing and applying my foundation. I am using the foundation in my color along with this professional cream makeup in white from the Ghost Stories kit. Just mix the two together to get a consistency you like and make sure that you use these sponges. I'm using them so that that way I do not destroy a makeup brush. Now that you've got that taken care of, you might notice that some blemishes are showing. Lighter foundation shows more than darker foundation, so you might want to add a little bit of concealer if you have acne. Next, I'm going to take just the pure white and add this to the highlights of my face. And then I'm just going to blend this in. Now that you're looking a little bit ghastly, I'm also going to add a bit of contour. I'm just using a Lorac Pro palette. The best way to do this is to make a fishy face and get in this little divot right here, kind of circle it in and then stripe up. This gives a really kind of gaunt look. We're also going to do this here to the nose and around the temples. Next we can move on to these eyebrows. Just use whatever you have, whatever you like. Because this is a graveyard tutorial, we can look a little bit messy. So don't worry about getting your brows on fleek. Just get them on your face. Next I'm going to move on to some liner. I am using the Wet n Wild Cold Crayon. This is just in black. Again, it's from Spirit. And I'm just going to use this to line my wet line and my tight line to begin. You're also going to add a little bit of liner to the top here. Now that that's on a little bit sloppy, I'm going to take this deep black from the Gothic Romance Kit and we're going to use this to kind of set and smudge the eyeliner. You can also take this black up to your crease, but don't go past your crease. The eyeliner will appear super black and then this will appear kind of like a dark midnight gray. Next, on a fluffy but slightly angled brush, I'm going to take this medium gray color. Again, it has these beautiful sparkles and I'm going to use this to create a gorgeous crease. I'm also just going to take whatever's left on this and kind of sweep it right underneath. Next, I'm going to take the very lightest color and just kind of create another ring around this. Kind of just avoid that area right underneath my eyebrow where a highlight would go. Next, what makes this tutorial super easy for anyone who's a beginner, they have these little eyeliner decals. So these will create the perfect wing. Try to get the inside corner in first and then just lay them down and press it on. Once you've got them on, they give you the perfect wing with a little bit of sparkle since they have glitter on them. If you need, you can use a little bit of lash glue if you're afraid that they'll come up, but they should be fine. I'm going to break out my black eyeliner again and just get a little bit on the corners. Fill anything in where they may not be already. So it's super easy. If you cannot do winged liner, this is your fix. Next for this bottom lash, I'm going to take a very, very precise brush and I'm going to use this with the darkest color black and I'm just going to kind of draw on this underwater line. And if you like, you can kind of create a second wing underneath. It's not necessary, but it does look pretty cool. Next, we can play a bit more around with these decals. I'm going to use some of these to kind of put right in between these two lines. They already have a little sticky on them, so you do not have to worry about lash glue. I'm going to do the same with these little tattoos. Next, it's time for lashes. I'm using these super, super, super dark ones because they're pretty hard to get wrong. These are the Femi Fatale Fabu Lash. And because they're so thick, you can kind of wiggle them like this, and that will actually help them bend to your eye better. The biggest tip to lash glue is try to apply a smaller stripe and then just make sure you let it dry. Wait 30 seconds up to two minutes um, for the lash glue to get really tacky and it'll be a lot easier to work with. Next it's time to move on to lips and I'm going to show you how to get a really great and really easy ombre lip. I'm going to start off with the Black Fantasy Makers Lipstick from Wet n Wild. It's kind of sharpened. Um, I'm going to use this and trace the outside of my lips and just avoid the inside of my lips first. You can kind of half smile to tighten up your lips so that way it's easier to apply. Next, you can take your favorite red lipstick, or I'm going to be using the red from the Ghost Stories palette just because it is um, such a bright and ghoulish red. And you just want to take this and press this onto the middle of your lips. Next, you want to press your lips together. Now, don't smush them together like back and forth, but kind of go just to kind of blend in those lines. You can then take more red or less red or more black or less black to kind of get it to pop here in the middle. If you need to clean up any edges, you can use concealer or powder uh, and just kind of dust it along the sides. Once that is on, your ombre lip is complete. 
Depending on how dead you want to look, you can, but don't have to apply any blush. If you do go for a blush, do something that's a little bit more purple, because that will make you look a little bit more dead and graveyard gothic. This is the Rainforest After Dark palette. Last but not least, dust off any excess, add any more highlighter you may need, and then it is time to apply your wig. The wig that I'm using is the Horror Wig from Spirit. Once your wig is on, you can paint your nails with some black claw polish, just to give it that ghastly look. Then you can get into your costume because your makeup is complete. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this gothic graveyard Halloween look. It will definitely spook anyone out and you will be the most glamorous gothic graveyard dead thing out there. If you recreate it, be sure to tag me on Instagram or social media. Have a happy Halloween. Love you guys. Bye.